Welcome to Wanderlust for Life. In this video, I am going to share with you how to make friends as an expat. These tips will also work if you're moving to a new city or a new country and living abroad. And I will give specific suggestions if you live here in Amsterdam because that's where I live. Some of these tips you may be like, uh, but I promise you there's gonna be some in here that you have never heard of. If you're new here, I'm Jessica, I'm American, and I moved to Amsterdam in the Netherlands in 2014. And I'd like to say that I've met quite a few amazing people, some I even call my best friends. And I'm gonna share what I've done, but also some other tips that have come up along the way. First tip is to join all the Facebook groups that interest you in your area, whether that's zero waste or cooking or whatever. They will help you find a like-minded community and then you can kind of make friends online and then those will eventually turn offline. I realize this is being filmed in 2021, so right now may not be the best time to see people in person, but it's a great time to start building those relationships so that you can eventually meet offline. There are also some groups designed specifically for expats. So Internations is one of them. They tend to have events throughout the year and an online platform where you can connect with other people. So that's a super helpful and specific way to meet people who are also expats in the area. One of my favorite ways was on meetup.com and they have expat groups on Meetup, but anybody can create a meetup group. So you can find book clubs, walking clubs, um, expat groups. One of my favorite things that we did was meet people and went bowling. It was so much fun. But if you're an art lover, if you're a nature lover, literally there's something for everyone. And one of my favorites in, in the Amsterdam area is one that they do like little travel trips. So it might be a day trip, it might be a weekend trip, but if that's something that interests you, it's a really good opportunity to meet people and do something that you love. Today's video sponsor is the Party of Four app. It is created by a fellow expat here in the Netherlands and it is the first app that prioritizes couples finding friendships with other couples in your area. It's completely platonic and it's for all couples. In this app, you can see their names, ages, job, university, whether they have kids or not, and interests and hobbies. You swipe right if you wanna connect with them, and then if they swipe right as well, then you can communicate on the app. How cool is that? It is currently available in the App Store right now. I'll leave a link in the description for you, and it will be available for Android by the end of May 2021. If you think this is super cool, but you're not in the Netherlands, please let us know down below that you really wanna see this app for your area. Another really cool thing that is so up my alley is joining kind of a foodie group. Here in Amsterdam, we have Tasty Talks and you go to different people's houses and you kind of learn how to cook their cuisine, but you get to meet new people, have a really cool experience and have an amazing night. If you want to meet people and learn a new skill or practice your public speaking, Toastmasters is a great way to do that. It's a group that gets together and practices public speaking, but people absolutely love this kind of group because you really get something out of it and you build these networking opportunities. So they're not just friends, but they can really help build your network in the city that you live in, but also maybe even in your career. If you're political and you want to find groups like that, there may be actually be one in your area. So if you're from the US and there's a political party that you're affiliated with, they may have a group where you live. Like we have Democrats abroad here in Amsterdam and they meet up every once in a while. If you're looking to build a business here in Amsterdam, this is Startup Central. But if you're American, one that you might be interested in is the American Amsterdam Business Club. They meet very regularly and they have some really cool events and you get to network. And the idea of it is to kind of find the connection to help you grow your business. So maybe there's a partnership that you're looking for that you just haven't found yet. And it's likely that you'd find somebody in that group to help you out. Of course, the obvious ones are sports clubs, gyms, dance classes, things like that. A not so obvious idea is to check with your university or high school and see if there's anybody in the area you went to school with. I love this idea because you already have something in common and you can talk about this professor or that teacher or your memories and do a nice little walk down memory lane. Sadly, nobody lives in Amsterdam yet from my university, but maybe one day. Language classes are a great opportunity to meet people who are also new to the area. So you guys can kind of find your way together and then you already have a study buddy, which is really nice. Of course, that doesn't really work if you're looking to make friends with a local, but I think that's a whole other video. If you want that video, let me know in the comments below. Work is an obvious one. If you have an office job, I mean, who knows if people are going back to the office after this, but if you have an office job, 
In Amsterdam, it's very common to have social events. We have borals on Fridays, usually like the last Friday of the month, but some teams do it every week. And a borel is basically an after work drinks and snacks and networking opportunity. And it tends to be very much part of the work culture, meaning you might actually get some work done there too. I know that's a little scary for some people, but it's really, really common and it's actually pretty fun. If you're a woman, Girls Gone International is such a cool group. I actually met up with this group when I was traveling as well in Hong Kong. And we had kind of a situation in Hong Kong and I really needed some locals help trying to figure it out. And they were the first group that I contacted. And that was so nice to have other women that you can count on who are in this group, not just to meet people, but to kind of rely on each other. So that's a great option throughout the world. And yes, we do have a chapter here in Amsterdam. And this one, I bet you did not think about this one. If you did, definitely let me know in the comments. Airbnb experiences where you live can be super interesting. You can learn about your new home, but also you can meet locals. And if it's um, something that you're really interested in and they do it too, then maybe you made a new friend. The idea is to put yourself in situations where you can meet people because if you're at home all the time, you're definitely not going to meet anybody, right? Except maybe the postal person, <laughs> but you have to get out there. So you might as well get out there and do things that you absolutely love and then see if you click, right? And I wanna also recommend, there's a Michelle B video on basically kind of the mindset around creating friends. I'll leave the link in the description and um, at the end of the video for you because I think it's a really interesting video to watch so that you kind of get it in your head how to make new friends. Like these are the practical things, but that will help you get in the right mindset to do it. Once you create some friends, go to the parties. Because if they're having a birthday party and they have friends, then maybe you'll make friends with their friends and you'll make friends with their friends and then it just kind of keeps building. And that's how I see making friends. It's, it's all about networking and finding who you click with. If you stay in the same town that you graduated high school or university or got your first job, your network might be kind of in this little bubble, which is also amazing. You make some lifelong friends that way. But if you're going somewhere new, you have to start over. And that means that you really have to take advantage of every situation to be able to meet people here, meet people there. And if you're alone anywhere and somebody's around and they're also alone or you're waiting in line for something, maybe say hi. I met somebody the other day getting biscuits. <laughs> it was another American. She had never been there before and she was curious about something and then we just got chatting and she was having people over and you just never know where you're gonna meet your next best friend. So that is my biggest advice to you is be open to these opportunities, be open to meeting people because you might really click with somebody and then in a year you'll be like, how did I live my life without this person? And if you're on Instagram, find local accounts, whether they're big accounts or whether they're small accounts, because once you start interacting and writing comments and stuff, you might actually find that you connect with somebody on there and then you start DMing and then you're friends in real life. And that has definitely happened to me. These are really good ways to meet people. These are really good ways to put yourself in the right position to find that person. I hope you have found this helpful. Thanks again for Party of Four app for sponsoring this video. If you have any other suggestions, please leave them down below so that everybody else can learn from them. And hey, I can too, once this crazy time is over. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.